this is technically like my first youtube video i have vlogs up but this is like my first sit down type thing we're in quarantine um not really having a good time over here not really I'm watching like get ready with me get ready with me while high um vlogs just a bunch of stuff but i was like you know what why don't i just film a get ready with me might have, okay and i love how these are like all flip anyway so yeah so i'm gonna just do a get ready with me for nothing so okay i feel so awkward or will they be copyrighted will they hear it am i even gonna upload this <laughs> let's be real girl what i've been liking what i've been liking to do what i've been what i've been liking doing I got this big ass head and I can't talk. Um, what I've been loving lately on my eyebrows is, um, this is a, what's this soap called? I'm not sure, it's just literally any soap. You wet it a little bit, I'm gonna put some water. I think you wet it, I mean the way I do it. You wet it a little bit and then you use spoolie. You just kind of rub it in there and you see the soap and then you do your eyebrows. So that's what I'm gonna do on my eyebrows just kind of they stay in place they look really fresh most of the time so uh, sometimes um i make you i make instagram tutorials um literally like two people watch it but you know it's for fun it's okay and i like how there's still water all over my bed um i really enjoy making them but i don't know why i feel awkward right now filming this Number one, because I don't know if I'm going to upload it. Number two, I don't know why. I always, like, you know when you're getting ready and you're like, okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, when I do that, I'm all confident and shit. I'm like, hey guys, like, hey. And then right now that I'm actually recording, I'm like, hey guys. Like, girl, stop acting shy. Stop acting shy. But anyways, yeah, so I did that. What the fuck? Anyways, Colourpop. Oh my god, it's literally, it's literally so dirty. It has like eyeshadow or something. Colourpop, Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Love that. Let me take these shits off. My name's Elisa. That's all I got. My name's Elisa. I'm 19 and I never learned how to fucking read. I'm just kidding. I'm 21. I look like I'm 14. I feel like I'm 14. Like today I went to the liquor store to buy Swishers. And the, the man, he was like, oh, you have your ID, right? And I'm like, yep, raw here, buddy, raw here. Like I had my shit ready, I had my ID, my little car, whatever. And then he was looking at it, like trying to do the math for my birthday. Like, sir, it literally says I'm 21. Like the ID's like this, like I'm 21. But he was still trying to do the math. And he's like, oh, you're, so you're 21 right and i'm like yeah like i'm i'm 21 and he's like and he was still trying to like do the math on my birthday he's like oh a few months ago like february my, i turned 21 in february and i was like yeah he's like oh you look young boy do i really no honestly eh, i look like 14 but like acabada you know like 14 plus 98 like but anyways yeah so uh, when i clean up my eyebrows i put some on the back of my hand and then i use this morphe m432 brush up oh, disrespectful and just clean it up and this is my second time getting ready today <laughs> yeah because i got ready earlier but then I don't wear makeup as often as I used to, so I kind of, my skin, I don't know, I start to feel like all gross and shit, so when you, I don't know, you know when you have that feeling of having makeup on your face all day and you're like, take it off. I was going to say, my friends keep telling me to upload, bitch, what friends? Wait, what friends? I've been saying I'm gonna upload to YouTube, like no joke, since like junior year of high school. Like I'm like, yeah, like I'm gonna do a vlogging. Cause I'm like junior and senior year, I would just randomly pull out my phone and be like, hey guys, like welcome to the vlog, you know, like just messing around. But my friends would be like, no, like you should do it. But I was always too shy. And then when I started, the last video I posted on my YouTube channel was 
I think my Yawalika vlog, which is honestly so cringe. I mean, it's cute to look back on because I love my... All right, so we're just gonna cut the grass now. <laughs> it ain't no problem. But um, it's honestly cringy to, well, it's kind of cringy, but it's cute to look back on because it's kind of like, damn, like, you know, the memories, but then you also look at yourself and you're like, who is that? Um, yeah, the last one I uploaded was about, it's almost gonna be a year. I wanna say it was maybe like seven months ago that I uploaded it, but even looking at it now, I'm like, who, that is not, that is not me. I do not recognize her. That that's someone else. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'll be going to Mexico this summer. Um I usually by now I've bought my ticket already. Plank girl. Okay, whatever. Yeah yeah. Okay, what should I talk about? Where my primer at? Okay, for primer, I use the Morphe Revitalizer Primer. I'm literally, like literally all out, but I'm gonna squeeze the last bit of it. And I love how I'm wasting my primer when I'm not even really going out. Like, girl, save your primer. But anyways, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I was watching Mujiji, and the guy in the audience asked like, how do I let go of this belief that I need someone oh and for foundation I'm using the infallible L'Oreal 24 hour fresh wear 430 but yeah the guy was like how do I let go of this belief that like I need someone to complete me like you know when people I'm exhausted by talking pretty much long story short his question was like how do I let go of this belief that like I need a partner to complete me and Gigi um full of wisdom like no like he dead ass is full of wisdom um he's he i can't talk i'm sorry i can't talk anyways okay so yeah he was just saying how like um you know in order for you to find like your true partner you have to let go of the idea that like you need another person to complete you but i'm sitting here like I've been, I've been saying that I don't need anyone to complete me. Like, I've been knowing that. That, like, you know, when you get a partner, that person isn't to complete you, but rather to compliment you. Like, you should be a complete human being. Like, feel complete and be complete without someone else. And I'm like, where's my true partner? Where's my partner in crime? But I'm like, do you really believe that, bitch? Do you really? Um, But no, I just think it's interesting i agree with it because i feel like sometimes i mean but at the same time i can't really talk because i've never been in an actual relationship so what are you talking okay the fact that i matched the wall um you know what i'm saying so but yeah i just thought it was an interesting pretty much um don't know how to fucking talk and i don't even know i really don't know i'm really bad at summarizing like What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I'm really bad at summarizing stuff, but pretty much I really like the point he made. It's true. I think in order to, excuse me, to find like your true partner or like, you know, that like someone real or like something real, like, but at the same time, I'm like, but at the same time, oh yeah, I'm going to go in back with the same concealer. Wait, was I going to do eyeshadow? I already have like half my face done. I'm like, should I do eyeshadow? Um... I feel like there's people that like well I mean I I don't know because it everyone like a lot of people talk about how I'm literally trying to crack a case of what do you think when you like how do you find <sighs> I can't even get my thoughts in order how do people get in a relationship pretty much <laughs> like um because I mean I've like i've heard stories you know you know like people you know like oh yeah like i was going through a really rough time or like before i met him like i didn't think like i thought i needed someone to complete me but they showed me i didn't so it's like is it really true like i don't know i don't know shit about love i don't even know what love means i just think as humans we kind of forget that well at least me get that love is not just in like 
obviously I know it's not just in a romance aspect but I think when I think of love I automatically think of like I think of romantic love and self-love so yeah so long story short didn't really explain shit there but I tried I have my James Charlie palette right here hella dirty but whatever so why am I just digging? <laughs> digging y'all, digging. I'll go here. I can't believe I did my face makeup before my eyeshadow. Literally, who am I? I think I'll do like a halo eye look. My fav my current favorite things actually. I'll talk about that. List of things that I'm loving right now. One coffee. You know, little tacita de café bien calientito. Isn't that crazy? Who gives a fuck that you like coffee? I feel like I'm just talking and it's like Las palabras se las lleva el viento. Watching this show on Netflix called Just Had It. Unauthorized Living. It's based like in Spain. I think they have like the they use like the vosotros. They use like the those endings. You know if you had Spanish in high school when they show you like the vosotros. Vosais. It's like that. It's about like this man okay here i go trying to summarize a fucking show when i can barely summarize a youtube video it's about this man and about this man and what this man and what <laughs> and um he his name is nemo bandera 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 this is kind of harder than what i thought dude like i'm like oh get ready with me so easy no like you have to concentrate on what you're doing but then you get carried away but you're trying to talk and like my brain capacity is you know when you have your computer running and you have too many tabs open at once and it starts sounding like an airplane? That's my brain right now. Um, but yeah, pretty much. Um, oh my god, I, I really can't. Hold up, let me do this real quick. Kind of even, not really. But anyways, this uh, man named Nabel Bindeira, whatever, he just found out, like in the beginning of the show, pretty much it's all revolved around how he's been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, but he doesn't want to tell his family because he's like this, not famous, but he's like this rich guy with a lot of power in this city called the West. He doesn't want to get taken advantage of and like, just like his family starts to run into all these problems and like people are trying to be after them and like, it's on it's crazy it's good it's very exaggerated like very typical telenovela but it's it's good uh watch if you guys haven't watch la originals it's a documentary i believe on netflix so good i watched the amy documentary like a month ago but honestly that documentary is so good like i don't know it made me want to be like amy's friend and just like, like amy's soul like you know like when like someone that i would want to help out i'm gonna go ahead and cut this halo shit right here halo eyes are kind of a weakness for me not going to lie hi welcome to chili's should i change the setup real quick let me change the setup what else was i talking about literally girl get your memory in order please get it in order what was i gonna say Dude. Oh yeah, my favorite, my current favorite thing. So I said coffee, baby, I just got a job at Jamba, literally right before this whole quarantine shit happened. Thursday was like my first official day. It was honestly, it seemed pretty chill. Kind of nerve wracking though, because out of nowhere, a bunch of smoothies start coming and I'm like, oh, like with the Nicki Minaj, I'm like, dun, 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 dun. trying to make all the smoothies and stuff. But honestly, it's pretty chill so far I get a free smoothie each time i work and 50 percent off for my employee discount so not not too shabby jamba juice okay yeah so i cut my little halo eye right there where i worked at jamba juice i was working at del taco it was an experience yeah, i worked there for about a year it was i grew a lot as a person i don't know if you guys have like any stories or any experiences like of jobs where you've worked at but at the same time in your personal life you were kind of going through it but then you like grew at work and as a person maybe not because i'm fucking crazy but um maybe you have i don't know but don't talk about that place for me it was kind of hard to navigate through because it's kind of like your co-workers know this per like you they perceive you as an image but at the same time you're changing so, I, 
yeah honestly i don't fucking know love how these hoes aren't even even girl what the fuck would i go back to work there i think i would like if like struggling or like couldn't find a job anywhere else or something i don't know if my manager would let me go back because i had already left once and got another job blah 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 it only lasted like a month at my other job and my manager told me he's like you're gonna be back you're gonna want to come back and i'm like no i'm not dude shut the fuck up guess what my ass was back in a month <sighs> yeah i like i'm going on this whole tangent about my job who asked who who asked girl? nobody right okay and i like i'm i just started doing this get ready with me and not even saying what i'm doing we see each other I mean, what do people even talk about in these things like damn it's not like i have a life to talk about shit i decided i was going to transition to a vegan diet so you know i started doing my investigation i was all excited i was on my betty crocker grind but you know now i'm a little lazy not gonna lie i'm not really feeling the cooking she's been making like kale salads and adding beans or whatever the hell i find but uh, where was i going with this yeah i don't remember oh silly goose school, school got me fucked up and i'm only taking one class this semester so i can only imagine those that are taking multiple online school is just really not for me not for each other knowing there's assignments waiting for you when you log on no so honestly kudos to everyone that has hella and has to keep up and isn't used to fucking online class because also let me just stick this one no this is a weekend stamp here we go again with the fucking leaf blower honestly am i gonna upload this who knows if you're watching this, that means I uploaded it. And if you're not, well, then probably we, we, we watching it. And we watching it. <laughs> I do that a lot. Like, I will be like, okay, I'm gonna film a little get ready with me. Months later, I find it in my, like, like in my laptop, like, under downloaded items or something. And I'm like, oh my god, I forgot I filmed it. I think I'm gonna add glitter right here. I lost the lid for this, so it's literally been spilling everywhere. Yeah, I don't know the color. Oh. 07. Glitter 07. Look how she ate that. I forgot what I was saying. I think I was saying something about the weekend though. I love the weekend. It goes so hard. He's so fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably um blend the out the outer corners of this. I'm still like in shock that I'm filming a get ready with me. Girl, we know you're in shock. And then I'm just gonna kind of, you know, clean it up with some concealer over here. I love how I don't finish a topic and then I go back to it like 20 minutes later. Look at how she ate that. Okay, they're not even even. I'm like, look at how she ate. Girl, shut the fuck up. Look at my eyelash glue. I don't even think this is eyelash glue. I'm not sure what it is. It's supposed to be the duo black one. It's blue. It smell to it. It kind of smells like, like not cement, but I'm gonna smell it. I don't know. It just smells like something. Like kind of like burnt plastic. And it was only like two dollars. And I was like, fuck yeah. Like hello. Oh, oh, poor little me. Boom, bitch. Okay, literally, that I don't know. <sighs> you see what just happened? So I'm gonna have to do eyeliner. Why don't I upload? Because I start to think what other people are gonna think. But guess what? Fuck what other people think, okay? Do what you wanna do. Don't worry about nobody else. Because at the end of the day, who lies in bed with their decisions? You do. And does it look like I give a fuck? because i don't no cap type of question this is serious jury in the court serious ask question does anyone talk to themselves because i sure as hell do technically right now i'm talking to myself but like i dead ass have full-on conversations with myself i just have all like a all-day monologue with myself like you know what fuck all that fuck the fuck shit Fuck the fig shit. Enjoy yourself. Take yourself out to eat. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour and Palette Contour. Freshman year, I begged and pled to for her to please let me wear um foundation because I was really I have freckles. I don't know if you could tell when I wasn't wearing makeup, but um 
I was very insecure about my freckles. I did not like them. Um, now I love them. I, I literally love my freckles. Like It's because it's an accepted beauty standard now. So I love them. <laughs> Funny how that works, isn't it? Like, Mom, please. Like I feel really insecure. I don't like them. Like I want to cover them up. And it was like three shades too light for me. And it, it was like that cream one. It was like that blue. I think it's like CoverGirl. And it was like a cream up until senior year. Um, I remember it was like prom was coming up and i was gonna be doing my own makeup so i was like i have to practice like it's my senior prom biggest event in my life girl wear but you know at that moment it was like the biggest event of my life so i was like i have to look good like hello so i had a friend and um she would always wear eyelashes to school like every single day like so bomb her makeup was so bomb she, it was like my birthday and she gave me my first little pair of lashes she's like once you wear lashes there's no going back. Like, there is no going back. And I was like, girl, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. It's true. Once you start wearing lashes, you there's no going back. So that's pretty much how I got into it. It was like over the summer. I was just working, you know, all excited about going to college. I ordered my very first, I still have it, Morphe palette. And that's when I started popping off. But I didn't really start getting, a, like, doing videos and stuff until August of last year. I think I just kind of... I was just very shy before like I was very like I said in the beginning I think like afraid of what people would think and stuff and how I looked and all that shenanigans you know but I've come out of my show a little bit more now and that's how we're here <laughs> I am honestly I fucking love makeup uh, I think it's a really cool way of like people expressing themselves and it's honestly kind of like painting but on your face and it's honestly really cool i love to see all the looks tiktoks they fucking go ham um yeah but like it's it's a really good feeling especially like when making videos and stuff like when you edit your video and you see your whole look 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 i start getting emotional your look come together and stuff it's like a really rewarding feeling and even like doing looks here you're like oh my god like i did this like i you know so it's pretty cool i love makeup i love it yeah damn i got kind of real serious right there didn't i so i'm just about to finish up my look let me get your number no Okay, so this is my final look. OMG. Honestly, I love how it came out. It's still a little crooked, but it ain't no problem. My little glasses. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, felt kind of weird because it's like my first sit down video. I have my other vlogs up if you guys want to watch those. Wouldn't really recommend. They're a little cringy, not gonna lie. Maybe this was a little cringy. So I hope you guys liked it.